inside is revealed. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Yotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. No sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. Great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long we made magics there, in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. 
the wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend! Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Your words are well chosen. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. The feast begin! We need to empty that cauldron. Then Tsutunga will open his vault. Tsutunga is keen of mind, but he does not have our hearts. We need a warrior to lead us. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. see the musicians. Where's the music? They are calling for challenges to face their champion. A fight would help them drain their caps. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. Harvey! Show us your might! Beat our champion and we will drain our horns in your honor. 
Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who will challenge a champion? Who among you is brave enough? Can you not beat an old woman? Perhaps a bang would be more suited to your strength. Don't be scared of that crumble bones. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! What can I do to get them to drink faster? The mead is half gone. The egg here's colder and can't be drained. She has not touched a drop of meat. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. Utgarda, the ancient keep of the Jotna. Sutungar's old sway within those walls. Mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Last time I played you. I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. 
Ah, but can you do it while mead addled? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! What's the second worst? You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. The guests. Perhaps I can speed things along. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Drink in the name of Harvey! <sighs> Give it to me! I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my harp! My turn! My turn! Not you! That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Not you too. You'll break the strings with your sausage fingers. <laughs> but they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. I must be careful now. I'll give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why?
great Sutunger. Your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. Javi, I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. Strange magic might the Aesir evade our doom. Yurikin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. 